Hey there. If you are like me, you probably looked at this and thought, wow, these are beautiful. Where do I start? I, I can't buy the whole catalog. What do I need? Where do I start? I came from Cricut World. So in the Cricut World, I can tell you what cartridge I need. I can tell you what the mats are, a blue mat, a green mat. Got it all down. Know how to use it. Updates to Design Space. Yep, I'm good to go. When it comes to this, you might as well talk in a foreign language, or at least that's what I thought when I when I became a Stampin' Up! demonstrator three years ago. So I, I put myself back in time and I wanted to show you what it felt like when I first looked at it, and I bet some of you are thinking just the way I am. So you love this, but you don't know where to start. Well, sometimes people will tell you, well, you could start with a kit. And there are some great kits in here. Let me see if I can find them quick for you. The kits are good because they have a whole bunch of stuff in them paint by number. It's this. It doesn't quite allow you to be creative. It's more of he, put this here, put this there, put this there. It comes with the, the block. Wait, what's a block? Stamp sets back in the day that I remember were on a piece of wood and they were big and clunky. Well, look, this is a full on stamp set now. It fits on your shelf like a little DVD, you can have, I know I'm dating myself, you can have a whole bunch of them. So this now is a stamp and it fits on a block, right? They're clear. Okay, cool. I need a block. I need a stamp set. I'm going to, so if I'm going to pick a kit, all of it's going to come in there. If I'm thinking, well, that's great, but maybe I want to, I want to step out. I'm going to be a little bit more adventurous. Where do I start? Okay, let's put this aside. First things first, you're going to need some paper. I know you have paper, but you're going to want the paper that your ink likes to get the best results. So Whisper White is that paper. Whisper White, now to be confusing, comes in two different kinds. It comes in regular and thick. Uh-huh. What's the difference? Well, one's thicker. <laughs> Basically, the thick one is the one that you can use to make the card base. But to be perfectly honest right now, you just need one pack. Just the regular Whisper White. We can get going with heavier cards later. These first few are just going to be for you anyway. So just go with a pack of Whisper White. Then you need some color to go with your card or all your cards are white. And I suggest that you go with a pack that gives you more than one color. Now Stampin' Up! does in colors every year and they're in. This year we have one of my favorites which is Bumblebee. And what I love about Stampin' Up! is if they have a paper, then there's an ink and they coordinate and they match. And I am a matchy matchy girl and everything matches so I don't have to worry, well what, what yellowy orange sort of color is that? I don't need to worry. I just say, oh, bumblebee, bumblebee. Good, good. So I've got my pack of paper. I've got my whisper white to make my cards with. And then I need a pack of envelopes. And the plain, medium, whisper white envelopes that come 40 in a pack, that will keep you busy for a while. Okay, so that's the, the basic. That's like your flour and sugar, if you were gonna bake. A couple other tools that you're gonna need. You need a pair of snips. I bet you have those. Before you get, you know, don't get carried away and invest a fortune. Just buy the things you need. I would suggest that you start with a nice black memento ink. Now you're gonna want every color of the rainbow and there are so many and they're beautiful. But you can start with just one and see if you like this before you get too carried away. So we've got a pair of scissors, whisper white, or, or all your paper and your cardstock and your envelopes, then you're going to need some adhesive and stamp and seal is the new adhesive and this is great. It's super easy to, to refill. Remember, I do Facebook Lives every Monday and on Thursday night we have Zooms where we get together and we, we don't really do a specific project. We just share what we're doing. We create together. It's a great time to ask questions. You should definitely come to our Zooms. If you just go to the blog, and check out Thursday night, you'll see, we're working on Christmas cards, but you can work on anything. Um, you'll see the Zoom link right there, and I'll put it on my front page too, 
Okay. So, anywho, the only other thing that you really need is some kind of a trimmer. I love Stampin' Up's trimmer because it cuts and scores. And score means that it puts the fold down the middle of the card so it's nice and even. I'll show you how to use that in a sec. And you need to pick out a stamp set. I suggest one that has images and sentiments. Sentiments are the words, the things that your card's going to say. So let's see what we're going to do. I give you a sketch every week. There's tons of them on my site. There's tons everywhere, but I, I give you a simple sketch, at least one a week, sometimes two. And you're going to start with a piece of Whisper White. It is, whoops, it's eight and a half by 11. And I'm going to cut, to get a card that's going to fit in those standard envelopes, I'm going to cut it at five and a half by eight and a half, okay? So five and a half. Save this. This is now I get two cards out of that one piece. And I'm going to score. Remember I said this does both. I'm going to score at four and a quarter. Now this is the cutting one. I don't want to use that or I'm going to end up with two pieces of paper. This is the score one. And what that does is it just gives you a little guide so that when I fold the paper, it scores nice and, and folds perfectly even. Okay, so there's that. In this particular card, we're going to use some cinnamon cider, which is one of the new in colors. It's in that pack that I suggested to you. And I'm going to do the same cut. I like to do this with all of my my colors of cardstock so I have things cut and ready to go. Cut them at five and a half and then together I'm going to cut these two at four and a quarter. So now I have these all cut and they would fit on the front of a card. I might use a piece of one. They're good to go. If you look they fit exactly on the front of the card which means it covers up the entire thing. It's not really what I had in mind. I want to see sort of a frame around it. So I'm going to cut this down. And again, this would all be on a simple sketch, so you wouldn't have to figure this out or memorize it. I'm going to cut this down to four by five and a quarter. We like to save little scraps around here because you never know where you might need it. All right, so there's four by five and a quarter. And that's going to go right there on the front of my card. See how that leaves that nice frame around it? Looks super cool. Okay. So I'm going to move you over, and I'm going to get my that stamp and seal I talked about. This guy, I have a bumpy table, and stuff doesn't really like the bumpy tile. You don't need to worry about this, but um, my my table doesn't always like it. And you roll it down, and roll, and this just nicely puts adhesive all the way around, right? Then I take the front of my card and I lay that right down on my card. Now, this is where you can get as complicated or as easy as you want to be. If you're just getting started, just, just, you know, cool your jets. Don't worry. It doesn't have to be complicated. Let's cut this down. This is that bumblebee I talked about. And I'm going to go one more layer down. I'm going to cut this again. I'm going to do the five and a half by four and a quarter so I have the pieces. You never know when I might want those for another card. So while I'm cutting, I'm gonna cut them all out. And then I'm gonna take, so I've got some extras, I'll put those to the side. And I'm gonna make this one a little bit smaller. The last one was four. I'm gonna go three and three quarters. And the simple sketch that I will post below this will have all these measurements, so you don't need to worry. You don't have to remember them by five. Okay, three and three quarters by five. I'm done cutting. This is gonna fit right here. And see now it's got like a double mat, a double frame around it. Looks super cool. All right, now because of my bumpy table, I'm gonna use this. And I'm gonna pick one of these guys. I'm gonna go with the mama and the baby elephant. And I'm gonna put that right on this block just like so, right? And then I'm gonna bring up, I'm gonna ink it up. So that just means tap, 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 tap. Make sure you get ink all over it, right? See the ink is nice and even. 
a little bit. All right, and then I'm gonna figure out where I want it. Now, once you get going, you're gonna use some punches. Punches look like, let me find you a good punch. Like this circle punch. This is a really cool addition to what you're doing. And then you could punch a circle for the elephant to be on. But right now today, we're gonna to go with just what we have. We're not gonna add anything else. I'm gonna show you that you can make a really cool card with just this. So I'm gonna punch. I'm gonna put my elephant kind of in the middle, but down a little bit. Nice, even pressure. No rocking it back and forth, just nice, even pressure. Practice makes perfect. There's also other tools that can make it easier if you're really struggling, so don't worry. Uh, remember those little strips that I said I wanted to save that we cut off? I'm gonna put that right across here. We should have two of those, we do. I'm gonna put those just like this, so it's gonna make kind of a border at the top of my card. I'll trim that off. And then I have this, and I'm gonna use this down here. Maybe I'll use it up here. I think I'll use it up here. We'll see. You never know. You don't have to use it. And then we have our sentiment. So our sentiment says, this one says, so tiny, I can never read it upside down. So tiny, so small, so loved by all. And it's gonna go right on my same block. I'm gonna peel that stamp off and put this right here. I'm gonna ink this up, same ink. Make sure I have it right. It's gonna go this way. Right under my elephant. So tiny, so small, so loved by all. Yeah, I'm not gonna use that, that bumblebee strip. I'm just gonna use these guys. So I need some adhesive on the back of each of those. If I push them together, I can just do it in one. Okay. And now, I'm going to put this, this is that, we cut that off when we were putting down the other piece on the back. Put that across, there's that one. Now there's tons of embellishments that you can buy, but again, you can do this with just paper and stamps and ink. I'm going to trim this, flip it over, and I'm going to trim this excess. Now I recommend that you also get a pack of dimensionals. These are dimensionals. They're the coolest thing. They make it look like you really know what you're doing. And you will really soon. But they're little foam adhesive. And so when I put them on the back of this, now there are a gazillion other things that we can do to step this card up. But right now we just want to we just actually want to make a card. We just want to see that we can do it. So we're going to bring our card back, just right here. These little things go on the back. You peel it off. So see, it's really not scary. It's not hard. You don't have to get so overwhelmed with all kinds of techniques. And then you just pop this down. And seriously, if you give this card to someone, they are going to be so impressed that you made this yourself. So tiny and small, so loved by all. Ready for you to write your little note in here. You could also add wildly happy on the inside if you wanted to do that. Write your note, and then you're gonna take your envelope. Now you can decorate the outside of the envelope if you want, you don't have to. Remember this piece that I said we had? We could put that right on the back of our envelope right here and add a little something to that. Again, you don't have to and you will see that your card fits right in here. And voila, you have made a card super simple, not crazy. So what did we actually need? We needed the stamp set, we needed our ink, we needed our block, we used our dimensionals and our seal. Move you guys over here. 
we used, we did use our snips, we did, but you could get away with another snip if you don't have those, right, to get started. We used our envelopes. We used a trimmer, nice trimmer. And we used our Whisper White and our Multicolor Cardstock Pack, and that's it. If you have any questions about getting started or really want to do this, if you're thinking holiday cards, this would make a really great project for you and your family. You could do them really easy. You don't have to get complicated, although you can, depending on the techniques and the things that you want to add. So check it out. Give me a, let me know, leave me a note, leave me a comment here. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and let me know if there's anything I can do to help you. See you soon. Bye.